We're at the first Chicago area beer show of the year. We found an ad with the first Paps can on it, found people who opened a beer that was made in the 40s and started drinking it. Another origin light beer story and so much more. Come with me as we tour the Bullfrog Chapters annual Super Bowl beer show. Let's have Clayton Emery, our current BCCA president, kick it off for us. Let's go beer collecting. These little characters when some of the earlier cans of Paps. First can right there. 1936 ad. Pretty cool. If you saw the Paps show, you'll learn more about uh, Paps and the first can and the first can carton. Here we go. Nice little Paps cheese crate. This is from Northern Brewing. Usually their brand was just Northern Beer, but they also had Vic Special. A tin over cardboard, or a tuck. So get them in chalkboard. What'd you get? Well, I got in. Handler brow sign, cardboard sign. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Can you frame that up? Actually, yes, it's... absolutely. That will be framed up. It's pretty sturdy, though. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it kind of shows the age. Where's that from? Appleton, Wisconsin. Appleton, Wisconsin. Yeah. Walters Brewery. One of the Walters brothers, huh? Yeah. Got the trade and matches. Awesome. Lots of cans at the Bullfrog Super Bowl show today. Couple of these holidays from Potosi. Keller's and uh, something that starts with the letter A. Tell me out in the comments. Let me know which one that was. Some really cool, old, old style cone tops. Rough shape, but aren't these cool history? Look at that. Love it. Already. I already got one though. Here's a nice one. This one, the Old Craft Brew. This is, yeah, this one is uh, Ocanto. Not many people know that one, that it's an Ocanto can. A little tougher to find. What you got there? Oh, got a tough Schlitz. Tall Gold boy. one, huh? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Don't oh. see it. Don't see that every UPC, day. UPC though. Yeah. What, what, when did UPC come out? You think? Is see if there's a date, a date on it. There should be a date on it. it usually is. Wow. Not a date. Not a date. I'm learning new things. All right. What do you got on that? Eighty cents. I like it. <laughs> I'll give you a buck. <laughs> give you a buck. That's how much it was when it was original with exactly. beer in it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Some matchbooks. Little Schlitz cores. People collect all kinds of different Buriana. Look at this thing. A little inflatable balloon hanging from the ceiling. That's pretty cool. Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. What a bargain. All city. It spins too if the fan is on. You can't pass <laughs> that off. It's the surreal Fall City brewery too, I think. Yeah. Not the Highland. Not the Highland, so the real yeah. That's cool. I think well, it doesn't say, yeah. it doesn't say Highland, so Right, right. Come to the beer show, get good deals. Multiple people made some barrel glasses. I've seen one from Schmidt, Blatz, and then this unmarked one, barrel of beer, that is a Huber. Hard to find them with the caps. 
This is the raffle table. Bunch of strows, tap knobs. Oh, here's a Schmidt bottle I was talking about. Lots of tins. All right. Nice cool Guinness light. I bet that's rotating. Let's see. San Miguel from the Philippines. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Little old style grill. They'll do better on the price, asking $225. Brand new. <laughs> That's cool. No telling what you'll find at a beer show. So some people collect cans, and a lot of people collect unrolled flat aluminum or tin. And here we have a whole bunch of them. Man. How do you find these? It's crazy. Some of these neat Super Bowl ones. Malflika, Blatz. Look at this stack. So, an old Milwaukee's Best from Gettleman. Look at these. What is that? Red? Comment if you've ever seen this before, if you have any information on it. Back in 1983, Budweiser wanted to compete with Miller Lite, came out with their light beer, but they called it Budweiser Light for about a year, year and a half before they changed it to Bud Light, and the rest is history. Look at this. This is some 1946-ish. And they built the Blatt's building. Some old picture postcards. These were actually mailed out to people in the Milwaukee area. It's me piece putting them all together, nice framed up. Man, things just look good framed up. What you got there? I have a Bluemore Ale from a California brewery. This is from the 1930s. It has opening instructions. And a clever thing some breweries did is they put the actual beer on the can. Lucky did that, and Blueboard did that. Here's a spiel about the can. It's a single punch. On grade, it's probably about $1,000. This one's a little bit faded, so I'm, off, I'm offering it for 80 Nice. Cool. Okay. Yes, thank you. So, what do we got here? Tavern Pale. Tavern Pale, but what, from what year? It's an IRTP bottle, so it's got to be 49 or, yeah. or, or somewhere in that area. Okay, so cheers. Cheers. That's my high tip. Thank so a bunch of crazies are part of what they call an iron, iron gut, gut challenge, iron gut club. Yep. And they take old beers and give and, them a taste. And drink them, yeah. Cheers. All right. <laughs> so you got another one. This is from what year, you think? Same. All right. Yeah, it's IRTP. And it's IRTP. IRTP, so it's, and it's at least full. 49. Man. This would be 40s. Okay, 40s. Late 40s, yeah, after the war. They couldn't get into it. And maybe it was no, the, the cap went up. And maybe it was the universe telling them something. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they were trying to drink that one, too. So open. Awesome. All right. At the beer show and the bar is open. It's still morning, so I'm going to have to uh, have a clear conscience and order a Bloody Mary. <laughs> hey, and here's my biggest fan. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew. Pleasure to see you again. Pleasure to see you again today, too. How's <laughs> what it bring, going? What brings you to the show today? Beer what do you, cans. What are you on the lookout for? Beer cans? What, what kind? I'm gonna say newer stuff. Yeah. Lagunitas. Okay. So a lot of newer stuff. A lot of tins. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. And just browsing mainly. Beautiful day out. Can't complain. How I about just, yourself? I just love this stuff. I can't complain. Look at it. Look how many people we got today. Can't go wrong. Check out this. Same lighted sign. Wow. 
That's got to be old. That's built to last right there. Uh, that's probably about 50s. 1950s? Okay. Yeah. And you've got... Uh, Fox Deluxe bottles yeah. that would... In Chicago. Yep, Chicago. And they actually mount, match this, which is a lighter. This is a lighter? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here's a cool piece. Not actually from a brewery, but from a distributor for Lager Beer. A company in Chicago. So what is this? It's a match holder and an ashtray. Okay. You put the matches in there, and you put your ashes in there. And that's a pre-prohibition piece. Wow. Yeah, all one piece. No. Amazing. Check out the shirt. Oh yeah. So am I. Sometimes beer shows have good food. Nice brat and hot dog. Well, you look at some beer history. At beer shows, sometimes people bring out stuff not right away. So these were just brought out two hours into the show. So you got to stick around for the good stuff, too. First, first one. This. this is a tempo can from Blatt's. Very hard to come by. So they try to. I got that off of Andrew. Yeah. Just bought it now. Oh, he just bought it, so it's not for sale. Sorry. That's okay. All right. Some people collect menus. Andy does a great job of organizing different menu covers from different brands. Boy, whatever you can think of, he has it. Pretty cool. Man, some of these graphics on these, look at that. Well, this is a classic shape of a beer glass. They call this the sham glass. Pretty cool. What are you asking on this one? Yeah, price is on. Oh, 25 bucks for the Weber's Pioneer Club. Was that Theresa? Oh uh, yeah, Fox, uh, yeah, Fox had bought that out. Yeah. Oh yeah. What do you got here? Yeah, these are called Can Keepers, and they're online. You can purchase them online. Google CanKeeper.com, and they keep. The can from getting damaged in transport. They also keep the humidity down mm -hmm. by having the desiccant in because a lot of cans have been destroyed in people's collections in their base, their humid basements. Mm -hmm. So this actually prevents that from happening. Mm -hmm. and, and you sold some cans today, so you got some extras. I got some extras, and you I, sell them? I and I found a gentleman that would like to uh, take these home with him yeah? to keep his cans in pristine shape. You mean so. to keep my rusty ones from getting any more rusty? <laughs> Correct. Okay. There's no reversal. There's, there's no reversal. There's, there's, it's, it's, it's only preventive. It's only from, from bad to worse. All right. I'll, okay. take, I'll take five. All right. You got it. A. Gettleman Brewing Company. It's pretty neat. I think they're asking 25 bucks for that. bunch of barrel glasses. What's nice about the barrel glasses, they're all the same size. If you like to collect things that are similar but different. What we got here? I just got to pick up at the show a nice slit sign, antique, start of a basement collection. So real yeah. excited to pick it up today. Are you pretty new to collecting? Yeah, yeah. Just been lucky to start. You know, I have a few bobbleheads, a few autographs, but wanted to get, you know, some of that yeah. beer stuff in. And, yeah. You know, start building the man cave. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Appreciate you. We're going to do a brief setting on Mark's...